I didn't get everything said in the original video, so this is a voiceover. That's why the background is so much quieter. The wind was really blowing when I made the video, and that is pretty apparent in some of the segments. What I'm setting up here is an older configuration I've used. It's basically a frog sit stand, but I have a two to one on the foot loop. This arrangement does several things. One, it reduces the load on the knee to essentially one half the climber's weight. Second, the foot loop attaches to the saddle ascender via the pulley on the upper ascender. It effectively auto advances the saddle ascender, eliminating the need for a shoulder strap. Third, in a conventional frog, both legs are used for advancing. Since this has a two to one, one leg can be to use to advance and the other for balancing and positioning. You'll notice that I pause momentarily during the climb. I'm switching the foot loop to the other foot, not because my leg is getting tired, but because I'm pretty much a fanatic about balancing the stress and strain equally between my legs. I switch about every 10 strokes. You could probably easily go 15 to 20 strokes, but I like 10. That seems to work out good for me. This is about a 44 foot entry climb and the only stops I make are to switch the foot loop. I've recently tried a more conventional approach and did not come close to this performance. I think there may be several possible explanations for this. One is that it's more efficient, but perhaps more likely is it tends to set a sustainable pace and possibly hand in hand with that is less peak exertion is required. I need to do some comparison climbs before drawing any conclusions. There it is. Pretty much non stop up to the tie in point. Winded, but uh, that's not something I've been able to do lately with a straight one to one. Works quite well. Have to do a change over from here so uh, what I'm going to do is shorten my tether on my upper ascender take this loose put a uh, well actually the rig on it and load it remove this and I'll be on my way down that is Normally I'd have this hooked up with a kind of a Blake's hitch type adjustment and it'd be a really quick thing. But uh, kind of got in a hurry this time. So uh, gonna have to make do. Okay. I'm off my rope. There we go. Tell you what, there is no chance that rig accidentally coming off of that. You have to work to get it off. Now, what I want to do is take up some slack here. And I've unloaded this tether I've been on, and I can take my foot out of the foot loop now and remove this with the rig now supporting my weight. And 
here we go. Rig and velocity work so good together. Just look at the control. If I want to go faster, I can just pull it a little more, let off to slow down. It's just wonderful with velocity. Nice ride. I like that. 